Dear students, let us take a quick look at the story Discovering Tut. The saga continues, taken from the class 11 book of Hornbill. Tutankhamun, the 11th pharaoh of the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt, is famous due to the discovery of his completely intact tomb by the British archaeologist Howard Carter in 1922. Tut was a teenager heir to the royal throne of Egypt. The family had ruled Egypt for centuries, but Tut died young. He was the last of the family line. His father or grandfather Amenhotep III was a powerful pharaoh who ruled for almost 40 years. His son Amenhotep IV succeeded him, but he shocked the country by attacking Amun, a major god, smashing his images and closing all his temples. And at that time, there was a lot of chaos in the empire. His family had ruled for centuries before the boy king Tut took over. However, Tut ruled for nine years and then died unexpectedly. Centuries passed. In the year 1920, an archaeologist, Howard Carter, discovered this tomb after 3,300 years of Tut's burial. Carter was a British citizen and therefore he didn't have the beliefs of the Egyptians. The Egyptians never tried to go near Tut's tomb because they feared that going near Tut's tomb would prove disastrous. It could invite the pharaoh's curse. Like other British citizens, Carter also believed that this was just a superstition to keep thieves away from the tomb and from the enormous wealth buried with the little pharaoh. Anyway, Carter was not scared. He decided to take Tut's body out. But taking out Tut's body wasn't that easy. Carter and his team broke the three coffins one after the other. Finally, they opened the innermost coffin and saw dried hard body of Tut. It was really wonderful to see the dead body of a 3,300 years old mummy and to know for sure his name was Tutankhamun. He then decided to take the body out of the coffin, but soon realized that it was not so easy because the body had got hardened with the resins and separating the body out of the coffin was nearly impossible. But Carter could not think of leaving the body there. He feared the thieves could destroy the mummy for stealing the valuables inside. So Carter decided to cut 
Tuts body into pieces that is from the joints to take it out from the coffin. After some years, probably maybe in the absence of Carter, a doctor performed an x ray and found out that one of Tuts' bones was missing from his reassembled body that is his rib bones were missing how did it happen no one knew years passed and archaeologists and scientists performed a number of studies and experiments to get the answer to the questions that were there in their minds. Today, CT scan takes a hundreds of x-rays and creates a 3D image of the body. Tad's mummy was put into a CT scanner on 5th January 2005 to answer two important questions. How did he die and what was his condition at the time of his death? King Tut was one of the first mummies to be scanned in death as in life. The process took less than three hours. The pharaoh was taken back in the tomb again. The city scan dispelled all the doubts. Nothing had gone seriously wrong. Tut is at present resting in peace in his tomb in the valley of the departed kings of Egypt. The modern world has therefore turned impossibilities to possibilities. William's reports give an insight to this. The mummy scanned after a thousand years has opened new avenues regarding the cause of his death. Though technology has not yet given a definite answer to Tut's death, but all the dat datas that have been collected is still solving the mysteries that still lying behind his death. However, it has given us a direction to think and proceed. Maybe in future technology would solve every problem of us. So students, I hope you have all understood the chapter. We have come to an end. Now I will give you some questions. You will all take your notebook, write down the questions and then the answers. So keep reading and practicing. Thank you. Have a nice day.